Hey guys, it's Cameron here. This is Random Video 2. And I do want to ask you guys something. Um, I've been doing random video things since my last channel. I rebooted re rebooted it on this channel because I don't even remember what number I was on. And I was at a very low number, so I wouldn't, it wouldn't have matter if I rebooted it. But um, I call this series Random Video, but should I rename it? I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, it's random just because I'm talking about random crap but like could it be like discussion video or sudden I don't know but let me know if you guys think I should just rename it or keep it the same it'd probably be easier if I keep it the same since I have already started but what I would usually do is um, change the title on you know at the top and like put an annotation it's like new name for the you know uh, random video to discussion video or whatever I name it, but I'll probably keep it a ch uh, the same But just let me know what you think and what I should rename it, but whatever um, Got stuff written down so I'm pretty organized. It's easier if I'm organized so I know what I'm talking about and Yeah, uh, it will take less time, but I got quite a few things on here But first thing I want to talk about is my featured video on my channel uh, my uh, friend I know in real life and good friend on YouTube too well I know I'm in real life but yeah good friend um, made a video for me letting people know what happened to my channel and um, yeah get trying to get my old subscribers back and I put it as a feature video because I found it really funny just because the sad music but like you know he, he was being for real too and I say check it out if you haven't seen it already kind of funny but yeah but also he also made me a new profile picture it's basically what Ari had but he edited it and I don't have that type of software to do what he did so I want to tell him thank you his name's blackboy116 go check out his channel he makes gaming videos like me but he's not as involved as me but when he has the opportunity he does make videos and they're pretty good but yeah um more with my channel um discussion videos i don't know exactly what that's gonna turn out to be i mean i'll probably discuss about one subject oh, wait i did make discussion videos before but what was it I don't remember my discussion video. I wouldn't know because YouTube likes terminating people's accounts. So my thing is, here's what YouTube should have done. They should have just made it where I can't post videos. Simple as that. Now I lost all my subscribers, all my friends, all my messages, all my playlists, which my playlists were just favorites pretty much. All my favorites and then all my old videos, of course. I mean, they should have made it where no one could watch my videos, but you could, I don't know why they had to go and do that. But Hopefully I get my account back soon, most likely I won't to be honest, but never know. But uh, another thing, first impression videos, a friend um, recommended this for me since I like rant about games a lot, which I do. But um, yeah, so like Oblivion, which I somewhat started, I'm not going to go into impressions about that just yet, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do an impression for that. but. Um, yeah, that's definitely a good su suggestion. I actually love it because it kind of fits me pretty well. But um, another thing is review videos. You guys probably know I do do that too, so I'll probably do more of those. I can't pr probably can't do a review for Oblivion just because it's an RPG, RPG, a long game, and I'm probably not going to cover every single thing. And then I am working on a project right now, and I'll go ahead and let you guys know what it is. It's basically all the games I want for this year, 2011 games. Um, it's maybe like 62% complete. Only got like maybe up to five games I need footage for. Basically, I had the picture of a game, have maybe one minute of footage. Some are longer than others. Some of them are way too long. I need to fix that. But yeah, it's actually over 16 minutes right now. So I'm trying to figure out ways how I'm going to lower the time. But like I need to get all the footage on there and then I'll figure it out. But yeah, and then I had the release date on there. Just letting you guys know my taste of games and what I am wanting to play this year. But um, I'll let you guys know like what I'm going to buy, what I just want to play. And I start with 360 and then move on to PS3 and then I go to Vita. But yeah, um, that's what I'm working on right now. So look forward to that. Hopefully it gets releases. Usually when I work with stuff like this, which I use Windows Movie Maker, it doesn't turn out it doesn't come out usually usually I talk about it and it never comes out but I'm actually 
really working on it so i really think this will be coming out pretty soon maybe by next week but we'll see but next thing i, I want to talk about yeah you guys already know i got oblivion so it's not much to talk about right there um i did play last night by the way didn't really get anywhere but um resistance 3 beta will start pretty soon and i was like at the end of this month it's actually almost the end of this month so if you got uh, resistance 3 beta code which you're so calm for which i did not buy i just got the code randomly but yeah if yeah if you got the code for resistance 3 just look forward to be playing that pretty soon can't wait to play it just because i'm actually starting to get into it even though i don't like resistance anymore after resistance 2 but i did love resistance 1 but yeah look forward to the beta um one another thing you guys probably don't know this and why is it already five minutes wow time is flying but yeah almost six minutes oh my gosh but yeah as you guys may or may not know most likely most people don't know since gamestop doesn't like telling people but the inf if you've been wanting to play infamous 2 and, or you want the hero edition but it was too much for you if you look at gamestop.com they're actually selling the hero edition for 49 i mean 59.99 hero edition Hero at $59.99. Now I'm not sure if this stupid camera if this goes to the store too. I really doubt it. Usually when you try to buy Clutch's edition at the store, they'd be like, Oh, you have to pre-order to get it. They might have extras, but most likely not. But get it from the internet is really you could trust GameStop.com. It's not like you're getting it from a random place, but that's awesome. If you're planning to get Infamous 2, get that. I mean, DLC is basically what you're going to be wanting it for. But that's pretty cool. Next thing I want to talk about, I did go to GameStop yesterday and I did pay off my Vita. 325 I think. The 25 was the tax, by the way, but 3G version. So yeah, and I'm still deciding why, if I'm getting the Wi-Fi version. I mean, I went ahead and paid the 3G version just because if I don't want it anymore, I'll have that extra 50 bucks to get a game for it. But like, um, what I need to know about the 3G is, is there going to be a data cap with AT&T? And there will be no contract, that's good. And then the pricing. So uh, that's why I want to know from AT&T, but from Sony, I want to know if what other features than what we know now that um with 3g is there going to be on there i mean i would go over the features that are with it now one thing i would go over but this is going to take too much time considering that um oh wait i could go up to 15 minutes never mind ha yeah good thing i could post from my computer now okay so i'll slow down now um Thing, okay, so I guess I will talk about what you can do with 3G far as I know from the top of my head. What you can do is talk to friends through 3G. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't do the FaceTime video chat thing. Um, I know you can do it through Wi-Fi. Use the near feature so you can like use the GPS. I think that's only for um, 3G, the GPS thing, so you can find other players or players around you that are playing the game and stuff like that. I mean. That little stuff interests me, but like, I, I, I'm I kind of expecting more. If they don't put more, then I probably will cancel my 3G pre-order and just get the Wi-Fi model, get that 50 bucks, and get another game. Because I did also almost pay off Uncharted Golden Abyss. I need five more dollars on it just for tats, but the $40 is already on there. So that's great. But um, I am wanting more games besides the... Um, three um besides uncharted um here's some suggestions as our four games i'm thinking of getting like two more games besides uncharted but here's the four games um gravity gravity days or your gravity i'm not sure what they're calling it now they say like project gravity or i don't know but gravity um little big planet which i'm not too sure about the only way i'll get that is my friend get gets a vita and so we could play but it looks good but a little bit plan just hasn't been doing it for me i don't know why it's a great game i just i just can't play it for some reason but a little bit planet little deviants which is pretty cool whole bunch of mini games and stuff on there and reality fighters most likely i'll be getting little deviants and reality fighters but we'll see but um it i did talk to the guy at gamestop i go to the same gamestop all the time every time i go in there he's in there we have a conversation about really just anything we're basically friends i guess but um yeah um i was asking him are the vita games 40 dollars for sure he said yes because i mean sony never gave confirmation as far as i know that the vita games were going to be 40 bucks or not or 50 you know but 
he said it's gonna be 40 I kind of I'm pretty much I believe him if not then oh well it's whatever I guess I mean honestly I would think it'd be worth more than 40 but if it's 40 awesome but um, another thing super stardust Delta for the Vita um, as you guys know uh, may as you guys may know super stardust um, HD is a PlayStation Network game that runs for maybe about 15 bucks or less. He actually got it free if you got it from the um, what's it called the Welcome Back program thing from the PlayStation Network outage. And it's actually one of my favorite PlayStation Network games. Now this game, Delta version, which you know just a beta version of the game um, with more features and stuff, um, is a full retail game for 40 bucks. I don't get that. I don't know why they just don't make it a download title for the beta i mean that just doesn't make sense to me but i don't know kind of weird i just found that kind of weird but um i did cancel quite a few uh, gamestop pre uh yeah gamestop pre-orders yesterday i had like quite a few like rage um grant uh saint Row and yeah i'm still getting those games well i'm not getting rage i'm renting it but like there's some games that i am planning to buy by cancel at gamestop because i'm gonna buy them from amazon because Here's the, I love Amazon. I've been buying from them for for the past year, and um, it's been great. And um, the thing is, is like if you buy from Amazon, you get well, yeah, you get you could get delivery shipped. Well, the de delivery day shipping basically you only pay like ninety nine cents to get the day it comes out. If that if that option's available for that game, and a lot of the games I am wanting this year has that option, so that kind of saves me the trouble of getting my parent to take me to GameStop and I get the game right there and I don't really have to pay much tax I mean it's just 99 cents for tax pretty much and then sometimes they lower the game by five dollars or maybe a few cents but either way I'm paying cheaper than GameStop and I don't have to do any traveling so it's great and only uh, great doing it through Amazon and I get it by 10 a.m. so like if it's during school time when school starts back up I don't have to worry about going to GameStop after school it would just be at my doorstep or already inside because someone already took it in for me so ready to do unboxing right when I get home now what I am pro uh, here's the only midnight launches I will be going to well for sure I will be going to the beta launch if there is one there better be because I will be kind of mad if there isn't and then Uncharted 3 now Amazon does have the option where you can um, you know get the day it releases but if GameStop has a midnight release for the game I'd rather get it as early as possible you know but um because it's uncharted I mean pretty much my number one game this year sorry about that my mom scared me came in it coming in I hate when that happens when I'm making a video it's just weird but um yeah that's about it from what I talked about right there but I do have one more thing in gaming news I don't know when but uh, some gaming news ago I did talk about there are some like beta games on IGN that I don't even know about if those are real beta games apparently that really is the case those beta games are pretty much real so I got a new game informer today right here I'm sorry for the back I'll see it that well it's for i forgot what game that new game from the people that make elder scrolls and stuff but um there's a little article right here it says more to come let me turn a light on so you can see it better uh too light and this is for a beta page oh my gosh move so you see the beta right there and it says more to come these are some games that we some of them you may not know that would become to the vita rayman origins the two odd world games mortal kombat uh, michael jackson the experience lego harry potter but the rest i do know about but um what really caught my eyes is mortal kombat because here's the thing um the creator of mortal kombat uh boom ed boom or whatever um yeah he's the one that pretty much said that the he started the whole Vita thing that there's a new PlayStation coming out and stuff. And I mean, since he would know about it, I would think he'd be making something for it. But he hasn't really said much after that. But apparently, it had, it, I even did some internet research and it is confirmed to be coming to the Vita. So that's awesome. Now, it is not going to be a launch title from what I saw, but it's, it's 
come for coming so that's awesome but that's all i gotta talk about not sure if i'm running out of time so, since this is an extra clip but hope you guys enjoy comment rate subscribe tell me what you think of anything i talked about or really whatever but yeah um that's it yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed thanks for your support and i'll catch you guys later peace